Hello YouTube, hope you guys are having a wonderful time. It's Wolfen here. Well today we are going to do a review of a new game that just came out. I was hoping to get two reviews, but the one game I, I started to play, I actually asked for my money back and that was Fricky. Um, yeah, it's not ready. It's not even ready for early access. Um, so I'm probably going to end up buying it again, maybe. I don't know. But uh, there's some rumors that it's actually a BTC miner. But They Die Tomorrow, on the other hand, is actually ready. And that's what we're going to review today. So, so yeah. Um, it's definitely early access. It's definitely... Um, I'm enjoying it, but I don't know if I could play hours upon hours upon hours of it right now. I think it's one of the... Definitely right now, in, this, in the state it is right now, I think it's fun... But replayability is not there yet. The potential of the game is really good, though. So if you are, let's say, another you know another streamer, or if you just want something to kind of take your mind off of things going on, think about it. It is fifteen bucks U.S. or oh, fourteen ninety nine. Uh, so it's a little more than some of the others um, at this stage. So I was expecting maybe a little bit more of a sell for it being for just coming out, like some of the other games usually do. Like I know Faz did. I know uh, I think Obsidio, Ghost Hunter Core, they all had like a ten percent sell for they first came out for like the first week or something. This one didn't have it, so it was fourteen ninety nine. But so think about it. I'll do another review once other you know once some patches get in once they you know add some new maps, things like that. Um, so I'm not sure I would say yeah I'd go out and buy this game, but I would say keep an eye on it. Um, I'm glad I bought it, but that's because I'm a str I stream, so it's just, for me it's it's more content to go because I can definitely play this for a couple of hours, and then change over to something else for a couple of hours, and easily can easily have fun doing that with this game. Um, I don't know if I could do a full four to six hours with this. Uh, there's really not enough in the game to do that yet. But but what they do have is fun. Uh, I've only seen two, two ghost models. So that was kind of disappointing. Uh, there's three houses currently. Now, granted, there's a beta version. I don't know of it. So maybe I need to look to see if there's a beta version. Maybe there's more on the beta version. But um, but the what normal people what every what everyone else would be buying this game as, yeah, that's what we got. But it's got some it's got some new tools, which is fun. Um, some new tools that I haven't that we haven't used before. But the concept of the game is really cool. So so let me go to so let me let me see. I'm trying to think. Do I want to go to the tutorial yet? Well, let me just tell you what the what the basic overall thing of the game is. There's a killer. It's going to kill someone tomorrow. We're we are going in somehow. I don't know. I haven't figured out this part, but we're going in a day before to try to solve the murder before the murder happens. Um, I don't know if the killers are ghosts, demons. If we're if we are stopping the um, projection of the of the killer. But, um, but that's what's going on. So let us go to, let's go to live, let's go to recording and let's go to this. All right. All right. So this game actually has a, a, real, a decent little tutorial. I wish it would go over more of the items. Uh, I've seen better tutorials. Like actually Ghost Hunter, Ghost Hunter Core for some of its flaws, actually probably has one of the better tutorials out there. Obsidio has a really good tutorial. Uh, Faz, Faz isn't bad. Uh, this goes over a couple of tools, but then it says the rest uh, you can use if you want, but it really doesn't tell you. But on the other hand, the journal gives you a really good description of all the tools. So what the tutorial does not cover, the, the journal does. So the journal is actually really good for this game. So it shouldn't take you long to figure out what's going on in the game. And honestly, you could easily just watch, uh, you, 
this, this YouTube video <laughs> or some of this stuff. Because really what I'm going to be going over is really so far in the game is really what you need to know. So let us go into the tutorial. All right, but like it says, the killer will not hunt any players. The killer will not stab any players. The outside doors will not close and trap players in, during the resolution phase. Phase timers are longer than usual. All right, so this is a tutorial. So, J is your journal. So, welcome to the game. They, uh, they die tomorrow. The primary goal is to use your evidence items to identify the killer. Follow the guide of the playthrough link to the left if this is your first time. The killer does not hunt in the tutorial, so you have all the time you need. Once you've got the primary mechanics down, try completing the optional goals listed under finishing up. All right, so got to play through. Okay, pick up the mag meter and, couple, and a couple of glow sticks. So you can pick up three items. I'll be totally honest, I was picking up two items, and that was it. So, oops. Um, so, all right, so let's pick that up. Then explore the house using the mag meter until you get a level one reading or higher. All right. But let's, before we do that, let's go over some other stuff. So here's our observed evidences. So blood, uh, blood you find with the UV, drawn symbols, I believe, is with the camera. Knives is with the metal detector. Speech is with the, um, basically, spirit box. Wall writing, I believe, is also with the uh, camera, camera, uh, spirit box, metal detector, I've not found a bone yet, so I do not know what the bone is. Here's your potential killers. All pretty cool named. You also have observed behavior. So cold temperatures. Cold temperatures will come down over here. You'll either see a cold or a hot. I miss it all the fracking time right now. So, um, but you'll see basically a thermometer pop up. There's not a thermometer in game. It just shows up in here that you've basically, it's hot, cold. Um, so blue, red, blue for cold, red for hot. And it'll basically look like a little thermometer. Uh, fingerprints seen or will be fingerprints on the walls. Footsteps heard is usually by the spirit box. Heavy breathing, you'll hear heavy breathing in your ear. Hot temperature, same as the cold. Seen in window, I've actually not seen this, but I happened to walk outside and I heard music. And I was like, did I just miss the scene in window? <laughs> and I checked it and I actually got it right. Uh, stabbing investigators, I've actually not been stabbed yet. So I don't know what this is going to be like. Throwing objects is just what you would think. You're seeing thrown the things thrown off the, you know, pictures, uh, vases, things like that. So here's a description of our killers. We won't go over each one of these, but yeah. So you know, bone collector, morbid fanatic with penchant for dismembering, butcher, stocky brute, accustomed being. So I'm hoping there's going to be a model for each one of these. Right now, there's basically a model for him, but he can be any ghost. Basically, as far as I can tell, there's two models. One that looks like a butcher, and one that looks, and I think someone's knocking outside, inside the house, trying to get me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because the discovery phase and all that's already gone. We might actually, after I go through all this, back out real quick, and then come back in, so we get a true whatever. Um, so, because, yeah, I'll be going over that next. And then there's a kid. And I think like in a doll mask or something like that. So, so next is, okay, so here's your phases. So your arrival, basically it's a safe point. But a lot of the tools you can't use until you get into the discovery phase. But arrival, this phase allows for some prep before the killer's arrival. Evidences won't show, but you'll get proximity hits. So this is where you've got your time to take in... Um, the mag meter, and try to find your... Basically, you're trying to find three um, three locations. Uh, think of it as your, your evidence in, like, Phasmo. So these are your three spots that you're going to use your other tools to find. So let's say you find your three spots. One of those spots might have a gun or a knife, so you'll pick that up on your metal detector. One of those spots might be blood. You'll, uh, like, a big, gigantic splatter of blood. Uh, you'll find that with your UV light. One of those places might be um, wall writing or the uh, like wall eyes or something like that that you'll pick up with something with something else, which I haven't found yet. Uh, I'm thinking that might be the thermal video detector. Or no, that's the body heat. Uh, maybe the camera. 
Alternate life source uh, can observe hidden evidences, so like the wall eyes and stuff like that. So, so that's what that's what this time is really used for is to get in the house before the ghost can really do anything to find your three spots that you're looking for to bring your other pieces of gear in to find out what those things are. Um, so let me do this. All right, so then you get to discovery. The killer has entered the building and is starting to materialize. This phase should be used for collecting evidence, behaviors, and mementos from position of relatively safety. There's something that you can do with Guardian Statue drop in front of the arrival smoke plume to end the arrival phase and prevent hunts in the discovery phase. So, however many doors you have, you might have a back door, you might have a front door, you might have a side door. If you see the ghost, you'll see basically a, um, a cloud. If you drop this, the Guardian Statue, in front of it while, it, while it's moving, because basically it's going to move to its spot. Uh, if you can drop that in front of it, you'll basically protect yourself during the discovery phase and buy yourself some more time. Hostility, the, kill, the killer has materialized and is aware of your presence. Attacks are much more likely during this phase. Quickly finish your investigation and get to safety. Um, resolution, it's time for the showdown between you and the future killer. The doors are shut and the banishing light is fully charged. We'll go over the, the banishing light here in a second. Use it to banish the killer. So you want to make sure that your banishing light is in the house before this phase. I tend to bring all my gear. I, I find my three spots, and if i got any more time left in the arrival phase, I bring everything else in the house. Then Defiance, if you didn't banish the killer, finish whatever you need to finish, and leave the map to get back to safety. The killer will try to stop and kill you. So here's our gear. So Banishing and Light, activate and drop in front of the killer to banish them in the resolution phase. Only, work, only works during the resolution phase. Distortion. Now, I'll be honest, I've turned this on and it kind of disappeared on me. So I don't know what, and like threw it on the ground and it disappeared on me. So I don't know what happened there. <laughs> distortion, ca uh, distortion camera detects wall eyes and wall writing. So see, this is the other thing I like about the book. It tells you what it's going to be detecting. So a dimensional speaker detects speech crying, speech laughing. You can observe both speech related evidence. In the now, I've also detected footsteps. This thing has also told me footsteps were happening. So I think that might be not in the book and it should be. Glow stick, you're using your glow stick. It's not like Faz where you're using glow stick to find handprints. You can see your handprints without having to have anything. Uh, just just a regular light, or actually, or no light on, will find, will see your fingerprints. Um, what you use these for is to basically mark where your unknown evidence is so you don't lose track of them. So you'll end up using three, all that kind of good stuff. Guardian statue, we've already went over that. Memento lore finder. Um, Scans and analyze the mementos that are found on the map for defining traits to identify the killer. Analysis requires proximity to the crime, so it can only analyze while inside the map. So you got to be inside the house. Um, I've I've had I've used this more to find out who the killer was than anything else. The problem is is while you're using these things, the ghost gets pissed off because basically this you'll find little chests. We'll see them when we go in the house. You, we'll have little chests. And we w and you'll pick them up. I open this up. Just, I don't know if I have to open this up or not. Well, uh, but then it'll start doing a percentage. And at 100%, it'll basically say what that memento was. Uh, because the lore finder is figuring out what it is. And there'll be five of them. Uh, Magmeter responds to magnetic readings caused by nearby evidence. Each reading level indicates the discoverability of evidence at an evidence location. One, evidence location is in the area, but may not be detectable by any by evidence items. Two, an, an evidence location is nearby, and the evidence is detectable by evidence items. Three, an evidence location is very close, and the evidence is detectable by evidence items. So basically, this means it's close, but if you look right here at this spot, you might not be able to find it. Where this is, you're right on top of it. This is where you want to be looking for your, for your items. Med kit heals the bleeding status. It occurs when a killer stabs a player. Cannot heal death, sadly. Uh, metal detector, guns and knives. Uh, observed metallic evidence on the floor. Thermal video, bone, drawn symbols. So that's what you're looking for with these. I've never found a bone. I've never seen a drawn symbol yet. <laughs> UV light is blood. And that's it, folks. So let us... 
So let us back out and let's go use this because we're in the resolution phase right now. But let's go out, come back in, and that, and we'll restart this all. All right, so. So what, because what we want to do is do a normal house. So we'll do this one. We'll do easy. You get all your gear. Right now you don't have to buy anything. Um, custom loadouts. Actually, let me go back. Upcoming features. Post launch priority features, customizable controls, unlockable fourth map. Let me turn this sound down a little bit. Just while we're talking. Customizable controls, unlockable fourth map, saving your in so basically we'll be able to buy this with our in-game money. Controller support, multiplayer fixes, balance pricing for unreleased shop for shop for items, maps, blah blah blah. Options for volume control, mouse sensitivity. Yeah, the, the options aren't that strong right now. Options menu and win in map. Future priority features, support for multiple languages, Steam achievements, more player characters to choose from, more character activities after death, fifth map, public multiplayer, lobbies, and more. All right, so let's get in. Uh, let's go here. Let's turn the volume up again. All right. Okay. So, yeah, so right now this is basically, basically someone gets here before you and sets up the table. So we want to do Maglite. Oh, we should be doing this in tutorial. Oh, you know, what? we're not going to worry about tutorial. Um, because everything in the tutorial we'd be doing here. Uh, oh, yeah, and this. So, you know what, actually, let's go do the tutorial. I totally forgot about that we wanted to do the tutorial. All right, so, tu so tutorial. Because I want to show you the tutorial. All right, so... Let us see here. So, go back to journal, guided playthrough. Pick up mag meter, a couple glow sticks, explore the house using the mag meter. So, so pick up that, and pick up that, and pick up that. Yeah, for some reason I didn't know that I could pick up three items. Don't ask me why. So basically all you're gonna do is walk around. You're gonna walk around, but what we're looking for is one and two, one, two, three. But tutorial, we're not going to have to worry about things. So see, so right now we got a one. So it might be here. It might be the garage. So let's check out the garage real quick. All right, so let's put one glow stick here. And we'll check the outside wall and we'll check the inside and we'll check the uh, and we'll check here. Now see like there's a door there and there's a door here. And see there's our ghost. See if we had the uh, statue, we could put that there and we it would protect us during the discovery phase. All right, we're looking for a little bit better than that. But let's drop that there. Oh, three. Okay, that's our that's our next item. Okay, thrown item. So we got a thrown plant. So look through here. Okay, so it's not evidence, it's behavior. So throwing objects. Alright, so so now we want to check those three those three um spots so grab that oh, actually go, go back to your tutorial so we did that we did that we've done that 
Now we come back and look for this stuff. So let's look for that, let's look for this, and let's look for that. So I'm looking for metals. Or wall, or I uh, believe this was wall writing or wall eyes. But don't really see anything there yet, so let's go in here. See, okay, that that is your memento box. So I don't see any wall writing, don't see any that. I don't see any metals. So let's go upstairs, the those two spots upstairs, and see if uh, any of our evidence works up there. All right, this was a strong one. All right, I'm not seeing any of these three. So let's go grab something else. So we need this and we need this, which means there's something that we're probably missing. So this, I believe, is you're looking for. This journal is very handy, thermal. So we're looking for bone and drawn symbols with this thing. There's another memento box. We're not seeing any blood. And that's all the UV sees is blood. The hell's that? I don't know what that is. All right, whatever is here, I'm not detecting it. I have no idea what it is. Let's see what our behaviors are. Um, drawn, blah, 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 no. Um, see, cold temperatures and hot temperatures, I'm, not, I'm just not looking for. I'm just not hearing it or seeing it. Yeah, I have no idea what that's what whatever that was, I have no idea what that was. Oh, there we go. Blood. So So we got Blood. So now butcher cannibal nurse to possess. So that's what we were looking for there. Let's see if we see anything else. Yeah, see, I don't know. Oh, fingerprint. So, so like I said, you don't have to have anything up to see the fingerprint. It's just, it's just there. So go back here, fingerprint scene. But this is the bad part is I don't ever, I don't notice, see hot. So we got hot temperatures. Um, so then we go back to this, hot. So we're getting a lot of observed, observed, but we're not getting the actual tools that we need. I mean, we're going to be able to tell what the, what this thing was, just because of um, just because of what we got. But this is also so. Let me show you how to use this. So what you end up doing with this is, okay, so there's a memento box. When you're holding this, these show up better. When you're not holding this, uh, you still see them, but they're a little bit uh, misty. And it is a lot harder to see them. So, so click on it. 
Now go to this, as you can see, this is this is now working on it. So now you can do other stuff. And you can only have one memento box in your hand. So while you're holding that, you can be like maybe grabbing this and walking around and seeing if you've got, you know, if you've got any talking going on. And then when this is done, you can pick up another memento box. Oh, there we go. Laughing. So we got laughing. Boom. So we got a cannibal or we got nurse. So th toss that there. So that's done. So never saw. So now we need to do this for mementos. This will also help you get to killer. Even if you don't get anything else, you can actually get to killer by this. Uh, you see a lover, violent, prone to strength, great feats of strength. Okay. So now you pick up another one and do the same process. And I'll show you how basically you can get the killer without ever getting any all of your evidence. But just like Faz and a bunch of the other games, it's basically three pieces of evidence. And once you get that, you'll know you'll know your killer. But you can also get your killer by the mementos. So what now what I'm doing now is trying to find another, another memento. Why am I so tall? Oh, because the items are like come on, let me in here. So we're trying to find the other the other memento. Oh, newspaper. That's money. Oh crap. I think that was breathing, maybe. And right now I think because of the tutorials going on, we're not getting oh, yep, you threw stuff. More threw more stuff. Alright, let's go downstairs. And so that glow stick we got that. That glow stick we got laughing. Uh, the other glow stick we still don't have, we still don't know what that is. All right, so that's going on now. So let's pick up something else. Let's pick up uh, the metal detector. Let's see if maybe we just missed something. Haha, we did. So you're going to find knives or a gun is what this is going to uncover. And it's looking like it's actually in the uh, in the garage. And as you can see, we got all our three. Yep, and we got knives. So boom. So you go to this knives, and that's who our, that's who we got. Now, if we would have gone through here, we should have done this in order, but we didn't. So let's so let's uh, so let me so we so we got it by the evidence, but now let's uh, but let me show you how you uh, just by the mementos alone, you can get the ghost, or the killer. I'm not t I technically don't know what these are, but while that memento is going on, in this game you can't hide. Um, I believe even if you go into a room and close the door, it's going to find you. So what you end up doing is looping. I don't know if it's meant to be this way, um, but so far what I do, what I've been seeing everyone else do is you just loop. So wait for the killer to come down, loop. You can loop this way. I've seen people loop around the table. I've seen people loop around the car. Uh, upstairs, there's really no good area, so don't do that. Uh, struggle, jealousy, and okay, that's another thing of strength. So, so you're looking for the keywords like jealousy, strength, jealous, strong. So let's pick up this one. So that's already going. And your first one is always a little slow. Everyone after all the ones after that are faster. And you get more money for the memento boxes that you find. So there's usually I think there's always five. So, so you want to try to find all five. But I want to show you that you can figure out the killer this way also. All right, so over friendly. And there we go, nurse. Boom. So let's get out of here. We got nurse. I think we already chose it. Yep, chose nurse. 
So we got all that. Let's get out of here. Let's do a regular hunt. Ooh, total dollar. Total 10. All right, so let's start a game. Uh, let's go here. Give me one second. All right, so I don't know why this, this puts us like around the corner of the house. It's kind of weird. But it's also kind of sucks because our timer is already going. So let's grab two of these and one of these. Let's go find our three spots. And it's nice that you don't need to... You can just, you know, use the two glow sticks and... And this for your three spots. The houses are decently small, so you're not going to be walking all over the place. There is a bigger map. There's two smalls and a bigger map. All right, so it looks like there's one spot around here. Oh, a really good spot in here. And then this kicks out at one point, but it picks back up in here. All right, so let's go and grab some more gear to try to, oh, and we got a fingerprint. All right, so let's grab, let's grab the, that, let's grab that, and let's grab, uh, let's grab that. So our three items are all upstairs. So we want to walk around with this. Let's start in this room real quick. So you're kind of wanting to just go around with your, with your evidence gear. Oh, hi. How's it going? Shit. Oh, crap. I haven't ever dealt with this ghost here. Oh, shit. Yeah, the ghost can hunt you during the discovery phase. Ah, <sighs> shoot. And it does have a little bit of a reach, so even though I was walking this side, it kind of just went across. I don't know if I could have got further away and he couldn't have got me, but yeah. But yeah, we got we got uh we got killed right off the bat. So yeah, so sometimes they just disappear and sometimes they decide to hunt you. So pay attention to the arrival and make sure that you have, you know, get inside, look around real quick, but keep an eye on that arrival time. I should have done that because I need to keep an eye on that door and the other door for the... Um, All right, we need to get outside real quick. Oh crap, we're probably not gonna make it. Shit, he's right there, he's right there, he's right there. There we go. So this is a really good spot. Let's 
So we found two. No, wait, no, we found... Okay, no, cool. Alright. So we should be safe right now because of that. I hope. I hope I did that right. So let's grab that. Let's grab that. And let's grab that. And let's go see what we got. Shit. I don't think we're I don't think we did this right. I don't think I did the statue right. No, oh, okay. Alright, I don't see Oh, there's eight. Hey, we got eyes. Nice. That's the first time I've seen the eyes. So that's what the eyes look like. I was kind of curious on that. Okay, we got fingerprints. Oh, please don't start a hunt. If he starts a hunt, we're dead. Just kind of want to walk around here with this and see if we get anything. Yeah, we've got 37. Oh, there we go. Laughing. Let's get outside. So now we got laughing. So cannibal or thrill, thrill killer. Uh, we need this and we need that. And I think we've got everything else. So we might as well take this in. Actually, we might as well take that in. Because that's what the next phase is going to be. This ghosty trying to kill us. I'm worried because we're going to get hunted. Okay, we got heavy breathing. You almost have to make sure that you're a little bit towards the stairs. But we got this banished thing that was supposed to work and I've never used it before, so I have no idea how this is gonna work. Okay, it almost looks like there's blood on here. I don't know. So this is supposed to be showing hot spots. That I've not seen yet. Oh, hot. So heavy breathing, hot. Oh, that's right. We're, we're only in the hostility phase, so we're okay. Um, what else we got? All right. So what else can we do here? Um, actually, we don't need that. Um... Really not sure what else we need. I want to try this out, but I don't know what else the ghost is going to give us other than probably be hunting us. So we need to find... I don't know what we're missing. Oh crap, did we forget to bring? Yes, we did. Might as well do this, might as well get this going. So let's grab this. So we can at least get that going.
and they and the ghost does not like the mementos being touched. I believe what we're looking for, what we're going to be looking for, is going to be a weapon. Oh, okay. That symbolizes that the door is shut. We're in the resolution phase, and Ghosty doesn't like us. Where did I? To oh, I tossed it way over here. Oh, oh, crap! There he is. I want to get that metal detector. Because I have a feeling we're missing. Yeah, see, we're missing. I knew we were missing something. Gun. I think. Where is this thing? Oh, there we go. Knives. So that's what we're missing. So, knives, our killer is a thrill killer. Alright, so... Over friendly. Shit! No! Crap, crap, crap. Nope. Oh... That was not what I was planning on. Oh, shit. There we go. All right, let's see if we can use this thing. I've not used this before. We'll use it over here. Ha! And there he is. We got the killer. Let's see if we can get the mementos. Yeah, so we can still get the... We can still, we can, you can still get the mementos. But killer is gone. We've already got him. So that's how that and that's how that thing works. So now you know how that works. All right, I've already showed you this, so we're not going to worry about that. Let me step out of here and let me go to let's chat. Because you guys already seen how to do the mementos and how to determine the killer through the mementos. But there you go. So you see, so you see one. We died. Because the ghost hunted us really, really fast. We were in the discovery phase because we didn't stop it. Um, get used to having to loop. That's how you get away from these things. Um, so get used to the houses on and what you can and can't loop around. Um, get used to walking backwards, sprinting, and looping around. It's Sprint is shift. So it's not much of a, uh, it's not much of a sprint, but it's enough. But get used to doing that backwards and looping around and turning around and stuff like that because you're going to need to. But that's it. Uh, the game, I, I'm enjoying the game. I'm enjoying the little bit of... It's a it's a little bit like Obsidia, but not as many clues. It's a little bit, you know, you've got your normal like ghost stuff. But I like the metal detector. You'll either find knives or gun. That's how the... that's That was the murder weapon. So it's, it's kind of like a murder mystery. So... In this case, we found, you know, eyes, which I don't know what the eyes mean, <laughs> but we found blood splatter and we found, oh no, blood splatter was the house before that. Um, we had the laughter, we had the eyes, and then we had the knives. Um, those were, you know, the significance of that killer. Oh shit. What the hell? Ah! Hi. Oh. I thought we banished his ass. <laughs> okay, apparently he can... Uh, put... Sorry, he actually started a hunt. Luckily, I stepped out or I would have died. But but yeah, but that's it, folks. But once again, if you guys like this video, please give the video a like. If you guys uh, are liking the channel, please give the channel a sub. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely, am in... I definitely like this game. I definitely, definitely see the potential. Uh, I like seeing that... Maps might be out, and we have to spend our money for it. I kind of like that. Uh, because we're, we don't lose money for dying. We just don't get money if we die. So it's not like you know we're losing gear and we're having to buy it back. Though eventually that sounds like that might be the case, but at least the basic items we're not having to. But on that note, folks, hope you guys have a great rest of your night or rest of your day. But have a good one. 
and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Peace.